Alec, don't be jealous. Maybe if you speak well today in front of Congress, I can talk to a couple people and we could get you a little CSI work. Maybe. I don't want to make any promises. Uh, you know, at 6'6", 300 pounds, if I had to come and lobby Congress for money for sports, it would probably be a bit more obvious and it'd be a lot easier. And it's really unfortunate that it's a lot easier for someone like myself to receive a scholarship to protect a quarterback or to smash a ball or to dunk a ball or a whole variety of activity with sports gets such a greater priority uh, than someone who can sing as beautifully as Alicia or someone who can dance and inspire people like uh, Pierre. I think it's, it's kind of like Nigel said, it's disgusting. I'm here to share my personal testimony of how uh, public funding for the arts has helped me and why I'm here. When I was a little boy, my mother used to take me to movies all the time. Unfortunately for her, we had an alternating system where I would choose one film and she would choose one film. So we went from watching her fall asleep in films like Spaceballs to uh, films that really shaped my life like Terms of Endearment or uh, a myriad of other films from, from artists, from uh, creators. And that experience led me to when I finished playing sports in college, I stumbled into the theater. And because of public funded arts programs, I was welcomed. I was involved in a program called STEP, the School Touring Ensemble Program, where we would perform shows throughout the Bay Area for uh, elementary students all the way through high school. And everyone would play various roles throughout the play. So if we did a play about Martin Luther King, each and every person in the room would see themselves represented on stage playing Martin Luther King. This had a profound effect on me and on the audience. And unfortunately, since I've graduated from San Jose State, that program has disappeared. It's lost its funding, it dried up. And I think that for someone like myself who has been able to make a career and a livelihood out of public programs and a public university that was funded uh, by, by one fell swoop of the pen, it's heartbreaking to see these projects fall by the wayside. For other projects which aren't necessarily as important um, or potentially could be as important, but they just don't get the same interest because maybe they aren't as glamorous or maybe they're mocked. Uh, for me, it's really important to come out and share my experience because each and every person in the United States is diverse and the diversity we have as a country makes us a, a much more cohesive unit as a whole to continue inspiring the whole world. And if we continue to lose money and lose programs, there's gonna be a lot more people interested in the closed-minded, in-the-box thinking that takes us to wars and takes us to violence. And I think it's really important for us to share all of our stories and to, to really put our foot down and demand equal opportunities uh, for funding and for activities in the arts. Thank you.